GhanaPoliticsOnline.com. Yesterday at the launch of the digital property address system. This should be a matter worth uh, celebrating. Not so. Well, I also just heard, you know, except that you have just played on your station. And my conclusion is that either the president is a very bad liar or the vice president is an unintelligent liar. Uh, why so? Uh, the digital addressing system that they are talking about is work that has been ongoing for at least the past two years. At least the past two years. And this work was done under the NDC by Zoom Lion. And Zoom Lion received the active collaboration of the NDC government. If you go to the National Service Secretariat, Every year, the National Service Secretary posted at least 300 National Service personnel to Zoom Lion under the auspices of one of his companies called Super Info Solutions System. And these young people were given gadgets by Zoom Lion to go around district by district to gather the digital electronic information of every household which formed the basis of the digital addressing system. Zoom Lion, with his own money, engaged Indian experts who I met in his office to work on the system. And I personally visited Zoom Lion's office at least two times to see the progress of work on this digital addressing system. And Zoom Lion requested for the collaboration and support of the Town and Country Planning Department. And I personally took the directors of Town and Country Planning to Zoom Lion's office, where we held a meeting and where they showed him the entire project and how far they had gone. And the directors, myself, and I think also the Indian consultants had a meeting at Kempinski Hotel where they developed a roadmap of the kind of collaboration they wanted from the town and country planning department. In all this, in all fairness, apart from the service personnel that government sent to Zoom Lion to assist with the data collection, government did not give Zoom Lion money to the process own private initiative. But I actively supported it because I thought it was a great thing for the country to have a digital addressing system. I really didn't mind if it was owned by a private individual. But then in my discussions with Zoom Lion, we all agreed that if he developed it, every other state agency will lobby them to plug into the system, which he will continue to manage for a fee. And that will be at least his motivation for the investments that has made. He told me that he wasn't doing it for profit motive. He initiated it because of his business of waste collection. He goes to every house to collect waste. And so he needed a digital addressing system and a monitoring tool for his own workers. But then also it is a tool that will be available to the rest of the country for either collecting bills, for posting uh, bills, for addressing and driving to locations and all that. So for the president to announce that this was an initiative that he started when he became president under the auspices of the vice president is either a bad liar or the vice president is an unintelligent liar. I mean, this country would only want to progress. If something started in the previous government, and you came and accelerated it and adopted it as a national project, say so. It's as simple as that. Nobody will, 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 will begrudge you. But to pretend that the world began the day you became president is very really unfortunate. Now, because Ghanaians were, were alive before you became president and they know what they were doing before you became president. Now, I, I, have, I have taken the time to go online.
online and look for this application, the Ghana Post GPS. Uh, it has the the company that is uh, supervising it being Ghana Post Company Limited. I don't know whether it's the Ghana Post Company Limited, but the person, could he not be right if indeed this application that is running on the Google Play Store, if it's the one from Ghana Post, then it's different from what the uh, Zoom Lion company was doing, is it not? I'm saying that if you go to Zoom Lion's office and take the system and investigate it, I am 100% confident that it is that that project that they have simply taken and just uh, rebranded it, uh, used a different name, and presented it as a new initiative. This is not any new initiative. Indeed, if they have gone to start a new initiative, then that is worse. That is worse because the facility already exists in Ghana. So why go and use taxpayers' money to develop a new facility where you could have just taken on the one that Zulaya has developed, giving your own belief and confidence in private sector initiative. Why? Why should we spend additional money? That's why we didn't spend money initiating a new team. Because once the man has started it, we send the service personnel to assist him, and I personally, you know, directed the town of country planning to collaborate with him to complete it, so that it is at his expense. But then, as government uses it, government can definitely pay him, or any agency that uses it for the revenue collection, they can pay him some fee. So if they have even gone to start a new thing, whilst this other infrastructure already exists, then it clearly shows some waste of resources. Did they allow a public tender to do it and Zoom Line did not tender? Is that what happened? Did they check? So if they started a new thing, whilst the facility already existed, being supported by government at that time through postal service personnel and other you know agencies working with them. Then clearly there's some waste there. And that's why the person should not be created that it is the first to happen in Ghana because the facility was there. And I can assure you that if Radio Gold should carry out a diligent research, you will find out that what they launched is exactly what Zoom Lion did. Now I, I am finding it difficult to um, uh, accept some of the things that happened yesterday because I, I, like I said, I am on the platform now. And the moment I launched the platform, I was expecting that this application would run on its own database. But this application runs on the platform of Google. Therefore, if you seek for a location from here to maybe, let's say, Sakumono, you'll not be running on the Ghana Post applications platform. You'll be running on Google. My understanding is that this application costs about $2.5 million or so. Is it worth it? And especially the fanfare was given yesterday. I'm saying that I'm not a technology expert. I don't know the mechanics of it. I know that Zoom Lion developed this program. I know that I personally went to his office and saw the program being developed. Go to National Service Secretariat and they will show you a list on an annual basis of not less than 300 service personnel that they kept sending to uh, Zoom Lion's office for the purposes of gathering the data on the various addresses. 
listen to you. You said that you've known that this program was being run by Zoom Lion. How long ago was this? Oh, this was last year. And I've sent a call to National Civil Secretariat. You will see that I think for the past two or three years, every year, National Civil Secretariat has sent 372 Sooner Info Solutions, a company owned by Zoom Lion. You can't call them. I'm sure they will start sending text messages confirming that they participated in the project. Their job was they gave them a gadget and they went from every single household to gather data on the location of the house, the number of the house, the phone numbers to the, house, the people living there, the number of people living there, the, 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 the Ghana Water Company connections there, Ghana Municipal so every data about the house is picked. Data about residents in the house are also picked. And then they will input it into a system that at the click of a button, you can be directed to the property or even, you know, be directed to drive to the property and be given every information about that property. All right, the, the question I was going to ask you was this. Uh, at what stage was this project before the NDC uh, left office? He, at the time that I went to his office, and this must have been around three or four months to elections, because if you recall, four months to elections, we're all very busy as a parliamentary candidate. And so most of the time I was between my constituency and the office in Accra. But I recall that about five months to elections, when I started going to the office to check on this project, he had done, I believe, not less than 40% of, of, of the country. And he needed the town and country planning to collaborate with him so that you could use their offices in all the districts to be able to easily cover the rest of the country. So at the time we left office, January 7th, I cannot tell exactly how advanced he was in terms of completing the project. But when I went there, he had, I think, done not less than 40% of Ghana. He had finished Greater Accra, he had covered the, uh, the, the major districts in the Western region, he had covered the major districts in in, in, in Ashanti, he had covered so many key districts that he was now going out to smaller districts and he needed the support of the and country plan department. That was how, you know, I directed that they should collaborate. And they had a meeting at the uh, Kempinski Hotel, you know, and I came and opened the meeting and left them and directed that they must conclude a memorandum of understanding between Super Info Solution and, you know, uh, the Fund Country Planning Department so that they could assist him accelerate the pace of the project so that it could be completed. So this is something you can go and verify. Just walk to Super Info Solution Office right now. Ghana on Politics uh, Online uh, com. Uh, road, and, and call them and ask them. They'll tell you that they've done this. And in fact, I have just learned from a colleague member of parliament that at the beginning of this year, that Suba Info Solution took the entire communication committee of parliament to the office and displayed to them this project. So I'm not only, I'm not the only person who knows about it, but called the committee of communication of parliament and asked them whether at the beginning of this year, when parliament started, whether they didn't go to the office of Suba Info Solution and were shown this project and how far they had gone with the project. Honorable right. Ayaga, we are grateful you made time to speak to us today. Thank you very much. Ghanapoliticsonline.com